Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here, and we're going to have another game preview. This preview is going to be the Colts versus the Chargers. So this game is going on on Sunday at 4.05. Uh, the over-under started at 48, went down to 45. And the spread started at negative 3.5 for the Chargers and is now negative 6.5 for the Chargers. So Andrew Luck retired, as all of you I'm sure know by now. So we have Jacoby Brissett. And I wouldn't start him. The Chargers are the second against the quarterback. I think that Nick Bosa is going to have a field day. And it's going to be trouble. I also think that when it comes to the wide receivers, I'm not playing any of those either. T.Y. Hilton is going to be shadowed by Casey Hayward. And Casey Hayward is one of the top cornerbacks in the league. On top of that, the Chargers are ranked third against the wide receiver defensively. So I definitely am not trying to touch T.Y. Hilton. And the way where you got T.Y. Hilton, you got him probably in the fifth, sixth round. So you may not have to play him. If you do, if you do have to play him, I would temper my expectations. Because having Jacoby Brissett, expecting Jacoby Brissett to throw it against Casey Hayward if he doesn't have to just doesn't seem like a good play. So I think that they would avo I would avoid him. If you have to play him, play him as your flex. I'm not touching Funches either. All right, so we have running backs, Marlon Mack and Naeem Hines. So the Chargers are, yeah, the Chargers are 29th against run defense. So if you could attack them, that's where you're going to attack them. I think that if if the Colts can keep this game close, I think that Marlon Mack will have a good game. In games where they're close, he always plays better because Naeem Hines is the pass catcher. If they go down and it's down by a lot and they need to catch up, I think that Naeem Hines is going to come in and be a serviceable flex. That being said, Marlon Mack can catch the ball. He's just not as good at catching the ball as Naeem Hines. My, Naeem Hines is one of the best running back pass catchers out of the back. All right, so now we have Jack Doyle and Eric Ebron. The uh, Chargers are 10th against the tight end. I'm personally kind of on a wait and see. I don't have either of them in my top 12, but I do think that one of them will emerge to be the favorite. Eric Ebron was more of a touchdown threat last year as well. Uh, Jack Doyle was more of a receiving threat when he wasn't injured. So... That's it for the Colts. We're going to be going down to the Chargers. Uh, Phillip Rivers. The Colts are 13th against quarterback. So it's not a bad matchup. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, I, we're not, They're not going to have Melvin Gordon. He still hasn't come back from his holdout. I don't know if they pay him, but I'm not really concerned with that right now. I think that Austin Eckler is going to be a good substitute. I think that he flashed last year, and in general, he's just a good running back. I don't think he's huge. I don't think he's big and durable, but I think that they move him and Justin Jackson back and forth with Austin Eckler getting the lead role. If you have Keenan Allen, fire him up. The Colts are 23rd against the wide receiver, so he should feast. Uh, we have Mike Williams, also playable. I, uh, I like him with his touchdown upside. Love Austin Eckler, and I think that Justin Jackson is a good stash for you. Uh, Hunter Henry is going against the Colts, and they are ranked 12th against the tight end. I would play him. Hunter Henry's drafted as a top six tight end. There's not many good tight ends that you can replace him with, so fire him up. I think that people are worried about, oh, well, what's going to happen with the touches for him, the touches for Mike Williams? Well, Tyrell Williams is gone, and so is Antonio Gates. So I think that those targets will be soaked up by Hunter Henry and Mike Williams, respectfully, and I think that they both should be fine and good producers. So if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. That's the end of the video, and I'll see you later, Bay Nation.